First you want to start off by measuring and marking um, all the wood pieces that you have. This is my one by two and I know that I want all of mine to be um, 40 inches long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the wood and cut it to where I want it. So 40 inches. So I'm going to put my little mark there. Do my straight line. I'm going to do the same thing on all of these. All right, now we're gonna go cut them. So we have this, 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 all cut at the same length. And now we need to put them how we're gonna want them. So like if you have imperfections in your wood like I do right here, I'm just gonna flip that around like that. So I think that's good. I like to eyeball it first, then I like to make my measurements. So I'm about three inches down. So I made my mark down here. And this thing just goes right up against to make sure that you got your straight line all the way down. Take my type bond. Stuff's my favorite. Pop it up and make sure that you get the side that you want down. So now I'm just putting some wood glue on it, gluing it down, and then I'm using wood clamps to make sure that it stays in place. Just make sure you go in and wipe off the excess. I'm just making sure that my shelf is straight with a level. So I know this is 40 inches and I'm going to mark it every five inches because that's where I want the hooks to go. So I'm going to start it here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So then I want to know, do I want to put them like all straight or do I want to kind of stagger them? Because my other one was staggered, I think because I have a photo ledge up here and I have pictures and stuff, I think I'm just going to keep it simple down here. I think I like that better at two, actually. So two inches from the ledge. Now I'm using a 964 drill bit and I'm going all the way through the wood where I put my marks. This is going to be for the knobs. Now I'm measuring and marking where I put my shelf on the other side so that I can take my drill and drill through that and then I can put my screws in to make sure that that shelf is extra secure. Not only did I glue it, but I'm going in and I'm putting screws into it. So now that the shelf's done, it's time to add the little one by two to make, to make this shelf into a photo ledge. So you just wanna take your tight bond wood glue and glue it down and then use your wood clamps to make sure you get that sucker really secure. And of course, wipe off your excess wood glue. I bought some stain and after I tried it out on some spare wood, I did not like it. It was just too orange for me. So, I don't even know if this is a thing, if you're even supposed to do this, but I mixed my dark stain with this lighter stain and I actually liked the way that it looked. So, tested it out on a spare piece of wood and then I just, I liked it. So, I went ahead and stained my coat rack completely with that. And you guys have seen these crystal knobs in two of my other videos. I love them so much. They're just so pretty. I, I can't get enough of them. So now I'm going in where I drilled my holes for the knobs and I'm putting in the screws that came with them. Go in from the back and hand tighten them. It's very important to hand tighten them because you don't want to split the wood screw your knobs on and then you can tighten them of course with your screwdriver and then with your hand on the opposite side. I hung mine up on the wall with some drywall anchors and then I didn't really worry about the screws because I knew that I was going to have pictures and stuff on the wall so it would hide the screws. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this video. If you like it give it a thumbs up Subscribe for more DIYs, and I will see you guys in the next yeah. video. Bye, guys. Say hi to YouTube.